Now, Dr. Zaki, on to the second category of people. We're talking about exemptions. Can you list or mention all of the different categories of people that are exempted from fasting during the month of Ramadan? There are, in total, according to me, 13 categories of people who are exempted from fasting. The first is, if the person is an unbeliever, if he's a non-Muslim. Number two, if he or she is a minor. Number three, if the person is insane. Number four, if it's a lady and she is menstruating, she did not fast. Number five, if she has her postnatal bleeding, she's exempted from fasting. Number six, if she's pregnant, then she's exempted. Number seven, if she's breastfeeding, she's exempted. Number eight, if the person is ill or is sick, he or she is exempted. Number nine, if the person is disabled. Number 10, that if the person is very elderly, has reached a very old age. Number 11, if the person is traveling. Number 12, if the person is taking part in jihad or a fight in the cause of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And number 13, under compulsion. Under compulsion, if someone forces, and if the person doesn't fast, he or she is exempted. These are, in short, the 13 categories in which a person is exempted from fasting. Excellent. Now, I think we need to discuss each category on its own merits. Dr. Zakia, do all of the people that you've mentioned in the exempted categories have to make up their fast later on? Out of the 13 categories which I mentioned, the first three categories, they don't have to make up their fast later on. That is a non-Muslim, that's a person who's a minor, and a person who's insane. Out of the remaining 10 categories, two categories, a person who is disabled for long and a person who is very elderly. These two people also don't have to make up for their fast, but they have to pay a ransom, the feeding of a poor person for every fast they missed. As far as the other eight categories are concerned, the moment the condition in which they are, it gets reversed, then they have to make up for the fast which they missed. For example, in the eight categories are, the menstruating lady, moment she finishes the menstruation, then she should make up for a fast as soon as possible, before the next Ramadan. A woman who is in the period of postnatal bleeding, the moment it gets over, she has to fast. If a lady is pregnant, the moment the pregnancy gets over and the postnatal bleeding gets over, then she has to fast. If a lady, the fourth category, if she's breastfeeding, after the breastfeeding is over, then she has to fast. Or a person who is sick, the moment he gets healthy, he or she has to fast. Similarly, a person who's traveling, the moment he finishes his traveling, he has to fast. And a person who's taking part in jihad, fighting in the cause of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the moment the fight gets over, he or she has to fast. Similarly, a person who's in compulsion and is not fasting, the moment the compulsion is removed, he or she has to fast. But naturally, all these have to be done before the next Ramadan. 